Hello, and welcome to my C-Sharp Crash Course tutorial. This course is for beginners and intermediate users if you're just learning the C-Sharp programming language. My name is Shahid Chaudhary, and I'm a senior technical evangelist at Microsoft. My blog is at wakeupandcode.com, where you'll find the presentation material for this course and also my sample projects. You can also find me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Shahid C, which is my first name and my last initial. So first, let's get started with our agenda. We'll go through an introduction of the c -sharp programming language and Visual Studio, the program you'll use to write the programs. Then we'll talk about variables, operators, and loops. We'll go into classes and methods. And finally, we'll wrap up with files and exceptions. I also have some additional topics I wanted to talk about. These will be enumerators, extension methods, generics, lists, dictionaries, link, and as a bonus, we'll cover unit tests as well. But first, an introduction. To get Visual Studio, you could go to visualstudio.com and go to the download section where you'll find several versions of Visual Studio. The latest stable release is Visual Studio 2013, of which you'll find several 90-day trials, and you'll also find express versions that are free. Normally, I would recommend the professional edition for developers, whether you're starting out as an independent developer or you're working in a professional company. For students, I would normally recommend Visual Studio Professional, which you can get for free via the DreamSpark program at dreamspark.com. But as of 2014, Microsoft has released a new improved product called Visual Studio Community Edition. This offers an improvement over the Express version because it's free and it has all the features of the Pro version. You can get to it via the short URL, which is aka.ms slash vs2013ce. So going forward, Microsoft plans to use the Community Edition to replace the Express version. So there is a 2015 edition right now that's in preview mode. Uh, so if you want, you can download that if you'd like to get ahead. Uh, but this preview version or this community edition should be good for you for now. So once you get Visual Studio, let's get familiar with the interface. On the very top, you have a toolbar, which appears across the top of the UI. There is a green button that says Start on it. So the Start button allows you to run the program that you're currently working on. The main area shows you a code editor where you can type in all your code. Every time you compile it, you'll see an output at the bottom. Towards the right here, I have a solution explorer which contains one or more projects. Each project then contains one or more files for my code and other assets such as graphics. I also have references to other code libraries that I may use. References allow me to use code that is written by other people so that I don't have to write everything from scratch. I could also reference code that I've written myself in the past. Finally, at the bottom right, we have the properties panel, which is a context sensitive panel. Depending on what I have selected in my solution explorer, the properties panel will show me just the properties for that selected file. I may have things on the right and the left in the specific layout, but everything in Visual Studio can be customized. In fact, I could take the Solution Explorer and move it over to the left simply by dragging on the top toolbar. So now that you've learned what Visual Studio is, why learn C Sharp at all? Well, with C Sharp, you can do so many things. If you go to Visual Studio and click File, New Project, you'll notice that Visual Studio gives you a lot of options to write with the C Sharp language. I've highlighted a couple of things here where you can create web applications, mobile services in the Azure cloud, class libraries, which are little modules of code or large modules of code you can package up and reuse elsewhere. And then finally, console applications. Now, console application is not like a game console. It's a command prompt where you can have uh, output really quickly for a small program or even for long-running programs. So you can write actual programs that can be used in place of business, 
you can write quick samples just to test out little bits of code, which is what we'll be doing today. So how does this all work? Uh, normally a program like C uh, or C++, a language like C++ will get compiled into native code, but something like C Sharp will get compiled into bytecode or this intermediate language, which then gets compiled into native code by the common language runtime or the CLR. So this happens behind the scenes so that you can take your C-sharp code and run it anywhere that C-sharp is supported. So let's take a quick look at a demo when how this works. <laughs> 